The founder of the Invictus Games is the youngest child of the late Princess Diana. King Charles Aiyai has dealt with a lot from the royal family, but do you think he might reconcile with them? Although Prince Harry has always been among the British royal family's happiest members, he hasn't always gotten along with his own family. Let's start right away. After speaking out on the challenge of having to live and work together using a childhood experience, Prince Harry criticizes the royal struggle. He looks to be aiming a shot at Prince William. When they were small, Prince Harry and his elder brother Prince William seemed inseparable. Still, according to an interview with New York Magazine, their bond began to disintegrate as they got older. As he stated that some family members could not work and live together, Prince Harry also shared how his working relationship with Meghan feels natural and normal. In an interview with Allison P. Davis, Harry said that he and Meghan run their business, Archwell, from their shared home office, specifically from two plush club chairs arranged side by side behind a single desk facing the room. In addition, Harry detailed how many members of his family struggled to coexist and work together. William advised his brother to take things easy with the suit salon. Still, Harry didn't appreciate the counsel, the authors said in their book Finding Freedom. The conflict between William and Harry goes back to 2016 when the Archwell co-founder began dating Meghan. Years later, Harry agreed that he and his brother were on separate courses during an ITV program, but an insider leaped the comment. Harry was furious that his brother would pose such a question. Even though the brothers have grown apart, William still cares for Harry and hopes that he will speak out to him about his present troubles. William is also worried about Harry and Meghan. Despite their conflicts, William wants to be there for Harry and detests seeing him in such a dreadful situation. Blood is thicker than water, but according to a source, the gulf between William and Harry grew when they opened out about their choice to step aside from their royal duties in a tell-all interview with CBS. This happened following Harry and Meghan's retirement from the royal family in 2020. The insider also stated that Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship was irreparable and that they would never be able to undo the harm done when Harry and Meghan left the royal family in 2020. An insider reported in November 2019 that quote Harry has always had the impression that he is living in his brother's shadow. He doesn't envy the responsibility of being the future King of England, the insider continued, but Williams does. Harry considers himself Sussex's golden boy and has a lot to live up to. During the TV special, they accused unnamed royal family members of racism, claiming that one individual had asked about their son Archie's skin tone before his birth in May 2019. But the Duke of Cambridge refuted the allegations a few days after the interview, declaring that, as fate would have it, we're very much not a racist family. The brothers reconnected a month later during their grandpa Prince Philip's funeral. Prince Philip died in April 2021 at the age of 99. They were spotted together after the wedding, but a source subsequently told us they still needed to work on their relationship, according to an insider. They made some progress in that Harry spoke to William in the UK. Still, they haven't exactly reached the point in all is forgiven or put their differences behind them. The brothers returned together in July 2021 to unveil a statue in memory of their late mother. An insider told us they didn't patch things up at the funeral before the ceremony, adding that the two brothers had intended to make up at the event. Still, they want to move on now that the baby has been born. According to Palace Confidential host Joe Alvin, this comment appeared to be directed at his older brother Prince William and his wife, Kate Middleton. Miss Alvin, who spoke with the editor-in-chief of The Mail on Sunday, was quoted by Charlotte Griffith. Another broadside at the family was delivered by Prince Harry Charlotte, who made the odd remark that many members of my family can't coexist and collaborate. Miss Alvin said in continuation Prince Harry was the one person that Cambridge couldn't get along with. Therefore, he was forced to leave Kensington Palace, she said, adding that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex traveled to England with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, to celebrate the Queen during her Platinum Jubilee. The four-day festivities began with Trooping the Color, a parade in honor of the Queen's historic seven years as monarch, while all members of the royal family were present. I'm not sure if he references Clarence House or Prince Charles as challenging to work with, but it's ambiguous as usual. The couple had no choice but to join the rest of the extended family and the primary general's office that overlooks the grounds. The Duke was also not wearing his typical military uniform after being stripped of his labels following his decision to step down from his royal duties in March 2020. Queen Elizabeth stated that she had decided only to stand with those members of the royal family. 
They are currently performing official public duties. Later, he also claimed that Harry had come to grips with not being able to wear his uniform with his employed family members. The source also added that, although it's upsetting in some ways, he's just happy to be there to respect the Queen since a uniform is just that. Having said that, how does he feel about his relationship with his father? Charles i.e., the King since Harry and Meghan chose to retire as full-time working royals in January 2020. Their relationship has also been strained. Even after Charles came to the UK for Philip's burial, the hostility caused by the CBS Expos continued to exist between them. Due to Queen Elizabeth E's worsening health, a source informed us in April 2021 that they didn't speak much and that their relationship was still very strained. In September 2022, Health Prince Harry accompanied Meghan on her trip to Balmoral and Scotland. Still, he arrived too late to say farewell. Following Queen Elizabeth's passing, the monarch awarded new titles to William and Kate and explicitly named Harry and Meghan in his inauguration speech. Charles also made an unexpected gesture when he said, keep scrolling for a look back at Harry's ups and downs with a royal family over the years. Sometime in August 2022, Meghan revealed that Harry felt like his relationship with Charles was harmed as a result of their decision to leave the royal family, quote, I expressed my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas, Harry told me. I lost my father in this process. It doesn't have to be the same for them as it was for me and my father, Thomas Markle, but that's his choice. While Prince Andrew was given special permission to wear his uniform for the final vigil, the Duke of Sussex wasn't given the same exception. He said in a statement through a spokesperson at the time, quote, Harry was also present to greet the Queen's casket at Buckingham Palace on September 13, 2022, and one day later walked into possession with members of his family to Westminster Hall for a service. The celebrations commemorating Prince Harry's grandmother will be held while he is dressed in a morning suit. His uniform does not define his decade of military service. We humbly ask that attention be kept on the life and legacy of Her Majesty. After the Queen passed away in September 2022, an insider informed us that William had arranged for his brother and Meghan to accompany him and Kate as they welcomed mourners close to Windsor Castle. The source clarified this quote. William invited Harry and Meghan to join them. Still, they were late because they had to make preparations and talk to well-wishers. In addition, Prince Harry made his first public statement about losing his grandmother, saying he's a lonely place up here now without her. In every room she was in, you felt her presence throughout life. Although Harry misses the palace, let's wait and see what happens now that King Charles is the current monarch. What do you think of Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship?